All right, welcome back to the channel, you guys. Hope all you guys are having a fantastic weekend. Hope you guys had a uh, great Valentine's Day. So this is part two of our uh, do-it-yourself window tinting um, tutorial, I guess, for beginners. I'm gonna make it really simple. For this job, uh, it's pretty straightforward. All the tools you need is uh, a smaller squeegee, of course, a stainless steel knife, uh, some paper towel, microfiber, uh, gasket stick, of course, the bondo card, and um, it's like an easy reach tool. Uh, you can get this online, or you can just uh, cut an old credit card into a triangle shape like this so that you can get into the corners. And of course, some window tint. And don't forget the heat gun. And for the mixture for the soap solution, you guys, uh, just refer to uh, part one. So here's a sample of a pre-cut kit, you guys. Uh, it's already weeded out, the uh, backing still on it. Um, just an example of what it would look like if you guys order online. Pretty straightforward, but the only problem is you only got one shot because most of you guys are just going to order one kit just to save some money. But uh, as a beginner, um, it might take you several times. So that's why we're doing this tutorial so that you can hand cut yourself. And also some of these kits, might not fit they're getting better now they fit a lot better but if it's not a professional kit or uh, if it's a kit that you buy online you're pretty much taking a gamble and if you're particular and you want to make your car look like the best that it can be uh you don't want to have any air gaps or you know shortages on the uh, top of the window when you roll it down so that's why i'm making this tutorial you guys and making it easy for you guys to install window tint. So this is what they call a quarter window. Um, this is a roll up, roll down window. There's, um, even though it is small, it is quite hard. And the one that we're referring to is this, is a sealed uh, quarter window with a rubber seal. And the one on the GTR, is a frameless one well not frameless but it has a border and it's much easier to install the reason why these ones are quite hard to do is because of the rubber gasket here it's pretty tight and it is a dust magnet for especially older vehicles or even on new vehicles um, you see all the dust and stuff that's left behind from the either previous owners or uh, driving with the windows rolled down for this particular window, we don't have to uh, remove the door panel. You can, if you want, it may be a little easier to get in, but we have a certain tool to help you uh, do that. So we're gonna start out by cleaning the window and uh, we're gonna cut some film. By the way, thank you guys for joining me this week. And also if you're new to the channel, do hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification guys, and for more tutorials and uh, some fantastic content. All right, let's get started. So yes, yeah, so we're gonna start out by cleaning the outside of the window so that we have a, I guess, clean surface to uh, work with. Just gonna do all that. So for new, um, I guess, younger generation car enthusiasts that wanna get into the car scene and wanna make their car look fantastic, look nice and want to do their uh, their own window tinting and save some money for uh, car parts. What's the first thing they do? They limo out. They pick the darkest tint and they want to black out everything. They just want to murder out everything. Um, so there's a lot of guys online for do-it-yourself, I guess, tutorials. With a dark tint, they just grab the tint, they can, they're going to put it on like that and they're showing you how to like cut the film, pack it down and put a blade right on and start cutting. The only problem with that, with dark tint, you can't see where you're cutting. You're just literally feeling yourself, like you're feeling in the dark and cutting and there's just no way as a beginner, you're gonna be able to cut that nicely. Cause there's no tolerance inside here for I guess any like kind of slippage with a knife or anything of that and you're gonna just start blowing film like no tomorrow. So I have another method that's gonna make it so much easier and 
you can use dark tint and have a fantastic cut. So what you're gonna do is moisture the window and you get the backing or the cellophane off of a scrap piece or you might just have to sacrifice a piece and put it on. By the way, thank you to one of my subscribers. Uh, he had mentioned that, um, or she had mentioned that uh, you can save uh, the rubber gasket from getting damaged if you tape it off. And that's a, good, that's a pretty good tip too for uh, beginners that are not confident or not trained well with the knife yet. But anyways, let's start. Uh, so with the cellophane, it's clear. You can actually see where the gasket is. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna tack it so that it's not gonna move on you. You're gonna cut the straight edge on the bottom first. So we're gonna get rid of that. That's one. You got that nice line now. And you can actually see. So you're gonna start from the bottom where it lines up and cut. Don't worry about the corner yet. You can always do that. I'm gonna do it on this side. And tear away. So that's all we have to do with. See, all you're doing is just kind of resting the blade against it, but make sure it's not angled towards the uh, rubber gasket because it will follow the track and it's gonna end up cutting your, your rubber. So you're gonna rest basically the blade against it and down and it just easily glides and you don't need a whole lot of pressure nope not because the the cellophane or the tint itself is so thin already just straight down and you want to do all the straight edges and you're going to guide it first with your with your thumb or your finger pretty simple then last but not least is the corner here and that's the thing with the cellophane you can force it in there and it's crinkling and it's creasing the, the cellophane itself. It's, you're not damaging the actual film. All the other guys are showing you and they're gonna cut like that. And you don't know if you're actually cutting it straight or not. And two, they're forcing it in. Then you're already creasing your film. You haven't even installed the film yet and it's already creased already. So that's why I love to use the uh, cellophane method to uh, teach beginners how to uh, cut quarter windows. Just like that. I'm gonna zoom in for you guys. All right, so if we look here, it's nice and straight all the way in, in that corner. See, even though it's creased up a little bit, it's creasing the, the cellophane not, and actually not the film itself. All right, so the second part is, you're gonna place the film down first. Make sure the backing is facing you. Uh, that way when you peel the film away, the adhesive is facing us. That's the important part. We're gonna tack this down. Now that we have a template, now we have our template that's nice and all nice and cut. We're gonna take this template, place it down. You can, if you have a straight edge, a uh, factory edge, and if the, back, the bottom is really straight, you can save yourself a, a, a cut, just like that. I'm gonna move this down a little bit for you guys. Right there, so you're gonna save yourself a cut because it's straight. This is the most important part. You have to have an eighth of a gap. Not too big and not just dead on, because when you if it's dead on, it's gonna be short inside here. You're gonna see air uh, around the edges here. That's what you don't want. And that's the reason why I don't like to cut with the film straight on the uh, on the window and put it in. Cause you're gonna end up being short on the corners or on the edges. So when you place it, and if you wanna save yourself, you can just place it on, squeegee it and cut. 
But if you want to save yourself a little bit of, of a cut, quarter inch, right about there, okay? And then it's important you have to have you have to maintain that quarter inch all the way around. So I'm gonna do that now. So it's key that you maintain that quarter inch all the way around. Because if it, like I said, if it's too big, you're gonna have problems going inside there. And also crack a fresh blade when you cut this. So you only have to cut one time. This is where practice comes in handy, you guys. You need that steady hand. No, no drinking that Vietnamese coffee in the morning so you don't get sick shakes and jitters. And on the bottom, you can go a little bit bigger because it's uh, more of a gap on the bottom. So you, you can go a little bigger on the bottom. And this quarter inch method, border, border method, only applies to quarter windows with a gasket. And again, you want to round those corners off. All right, see, there's that quarter inch all the way around. And for this to work and to make it look professional, you need that quarter inch gap all the way around. And again, you can have it a little bigger on the bottom. It's not detrimental on the bottom here. So now that we have our uh, template cut out and our film is ready to be installed, next important step we have to do is uh, clean the window. And that's the key to success on this uh, types of windows here. And because these windows are uh, old, you want to uh, pay attention to these corners here and here and here and uh, on the bottom here because those where the, uh, a lot of the dust is collected. And that's where you get your tool, easy reach tool and get in there. deep inside the corner there. Let's give you guys another view. Deep inside here. Just make sure you concentrate in here. Because later when you sp spray the water, all the water is going to come up inside the gasket and come back down. And that's where all the dirt is going to come from. Take your time and clean it. Because once you clean it properly and, and it's very thoroughly clean, even if you have to adjust the film a couple of times, it's not going to be a, a big problem. It's all in the cleaning. So the window is fairly clean now and it's uh, ready to install. We're going to spray, but not all the way to the top, concentrate on the sides. I know a lot of installers love to cut this rubber seal here on this side so that they can tuck it in a lot easier, but I don't like to uh, trim off the seal. Um, I, I like to keep it more factory and uh, without damaging the, uh, the gasket. Because if you're not comfortable, you might cut it off a little too much. And you're gonna damage that rubber gasket. So now we're ready to install. Um, you may want to just keep the template that you made just in case you need it. You never know. Again, flick. There you go. And it comes off. It's great. So this is where you get your uh, gasket plunger tool or what are they called? Bone gasket. You're going to try not to handle the film too much on the adhesive side and make sure everything's nice and clean. I want 
spray a little more. Okay, so we're going to start from down and up. And then you're going to get your gasket tool, you're going to put it in between the gasket and the, uh, the glass itself. And that gives it just enough room to get the, uh, the film in. Remember, the film is not very thin, uh, sorry, not very thick, you guys, so you just don't need a whole lot of, of um, cap to uh, get the film in. So you're going to work your way across. Don't be discouraged. This, this, this window is, is actually probably one of the hardest windows to do because it's just so tight. So you're going to work your way across. And get the film in. We're going to go on the outside and move this over here so that you guys can see. So we're going to take a look to see if it's in all the way up to the corner. There you go. Then you're going to use this tool here. That's where a lot of guys trim the gasket here so because it's a little tight there you go see the film just fall right in and then on this side too you can get it in a little more and everything should start falling into place okay now that you know it's all sealed and that's why it's important to have that one eighth uh, extra film all the way around so that you can get the film behind that gasket. So now that you got it just nice and placed, grab your heat gun, I'm gonna warm it up. You're gonna feel the heat come through. Just nice and warm. And you're gonna squeegee and tack it. There. Once it's tacked, and if you have the solution properly mixed, it ain't gonna move on you. And if you don't want to spend the money to get one of these, um, I guess, easy reach tools, you could just get a credit, older credit card, cut it in half in the shape of a triangle, and uh, that'll work too. But if you don't want to scratch your um, tent, make sure you wrap it in your paper towel. So now we're gonna attack this finger or this bubble here. We're gonna start from the top and work your way down. There you go. Take 
your Vondo card. See, now that, because I put some heat to it and it's not moving, because without that heat, this film would have moved and uh, it would have been a disaster and you would have creased it. All right, there you go, you guys. It's, uh, it is pretty straightforward, but it, it is, again, don't be discouraged. Um, if the window is actually dirty or, or whatever, I would do it again because um, window tint is actually like a nightmare to uh, remove. So right now it's on fresh. And if you have uh, some imperfections that you're not happy with, uh, best recommendation is just to remove it now and then redo it again. It's a little bit of work, but you know what? It's easier than scraping glue off your windows. Um, yeah, when it comes out looking nice, it looks mint and it's well worth the effort. All right, guys. So uh, again, thanks for uh, joining me in this week's uh, vlog. And that's uh, part two of the uh, do-it-yourself window tinting for uh, beginners. Um, just to recap, you guys, the main thing is keeping the window clean, clean the window thoroughly. Um, so if you have any little mistakes or anything that any adjustments you need to do, um, dirt won't just go in. Two is that quarter inch all the way around. Um, maybe not even a quarter inch, maybe a little thinner than that uh, around the template. And uh, if you guys are beginners and uh, starting out for the first time or even at advanced, uh, this window is actually a little harder. Uh, so use that template. Don't use the straight out window tint and cutting it on the car. Uh, just dark tint, you can't see too if you're not good with the knife and um, not experienced enough with it. I don't recommend it. Use the template. I would just, well, for me, I've been doing it for so long and I still use the template. So uh, nothing wrong with that, you guys. So again, thanks again, you guys, for uh, joining me in this week's vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, hopefully it's useful for future, I guess, projects on your guys' cars or even new cars. You know what to do, you guys. Smash that subscribe button, turn on the notification, and uh, we'll see you guys in next week's vlog. See ya. Oh, by the way, if you guys do like it, share with your friends and... Uh, uh, yeah. Like, oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.